Hello my beautiful Pisces, welcome back to Lion Gates Heart Tarot. So this is your read for December. I'm sorry it's taken so long, I tried to do your read three times and my system wouldn't work. So sometimes what the angel spirit guides are saying, that you need to hear this message closer to the event. So we run with the flow of energy on my channel. So the past energies is the King of Wands. Okay, in the current you have the Page of Swords, excuse me, sign. What I'm going to do is take six major cards and a clarify with the other deck. Please note this is a free channel, so a like and subscribe goes a long way and it's very much appreciated in universal balance. Hidden influence is the Four of Swords and the obstacle is the Eight of Cups. Ten of Swords is in what you should do and the outcome, please, angels. Thank you so much. You have two. We run with it. No, you have three. Apologies. You have the Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Hearts as I call it, the Queen of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. Lovely. And at the bottom, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Boom. It's a turn for the better. Okay, my beautiful Pisces. Let's get some clarifiers for the King of Wands, the King of Creation. What is this all about, please? The King of Creation. Wow. Whoa. You've got the Two of Swords in reverse and the Five of Swords in reverse. I wish I had a camera up here. I need to... When the channel starts making some pennies, I'll invest in that. So we have the Page of Swords and we have the Seven of Cups in the current. So choices, lots of different choices to make. Could be to do with your counterpart. We've got a Two of Cups, but you do have a surprise coming into the midst. Okay, Four of Swords, please, in the Hidden Influence. You have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is laying the swords to rest is allowing a new foundation to be birthed. What else? Thank you. And the wheel is turning for you. You've got the Wheel of Fortune twice. Wow, it could be a windfall. This is a hidden influence. We love to see this, my beautiful Pisces. Bear with me. There's another. Oh, my goodness. And the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. Phenomenal. Eight of Cups in the obstacle position, please. Eight of Cups. So you are walking away from something. But we have a victory. So I need a bit more. Thanks. Something to do with your heart frequency. Definitely heart frequency. That's been a challenge. Got you. Ten of Swords then. Ten of Swords. Justice is on your side. The end isn't gone. Justice is on your side. You've got the devil energy there. Something's going to be celebrated. And this is what you should do. It's a gathering of friends, all right? It's going to get you out of a low frequency setting. I can see that. And the outcome is the Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. You've got a lot of heart energy and the Nine of Wands. Could we have some clarifiers, please, for these? Thank you so much. The Queen of Pentacles. This is your stability. And the King of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. And at the bottom you have the Knight of Wands. This can talk about a new job. This can talk about travel movement towards something with a wand of creation. So my beautiful Pisces, please take a seat and we shall begin your December read. We shall journey together. Grab your cup of tea. Okay, my beautiful Pisces, journeying through December, we're starting with the past energies and the King of Wands. The King of Wands is the King of Creation, it's leadership, it's enterprise in a formula in the three-dimensional existence, and it's the security, is boldness and vitality, and this is your energy for this read. Now, what it's saying is there's been an indecision, that's what I feel here, um, you might be to blame for it but there's been an indecision as you can see the two of swords is in reverse and these two flipped that way round so you've created something but you've you've stopped yourself from making a decision this can be talking about people stirring up trouble when it comes to your creation so just be aware of that but this is past energy so this could be happening now if you're watching it and you're going through a creation of self i can see that it's phenomenal so whoever it is it, they can be quite tricky and they're quite fraudulent actually and you've got the five of swords in reverse when it comes in reverse it talks about the stubborn pride and refusal to give in even when all's that is lost um so whatever it is you've created something and you're not giving up on your dream which i don't believe is a bad thing at all now whatever you've had with people trying to stir up trouble within the situation you are moving forward because here in the current situation you have the page of swords it's telling you to be eager and proud about the venture moving forward basically 
Even if people are gossiping, that's not your concern. Now, this is what this could have been here. You're creating something. Gossip has taken place. But I don't believe it's in a negative form. Now, what it's saying is you're going to have plenty of choices to make. But you either need to do this with your higher self or your counterpart. And you're going to have a surprise come in. When this fish pops out of the cup, it's a lovely surprise. Now, you could be getting a message via your intuition because you've got the Four of Swords and this can be a psychic and intuitive. You could be getting your message via this read, for example. But there is a catalyst of something coming in. This is news. This is a messenger. And what's happening is it enables you to journey forward. Now, with this choice, because this can be an illusion card, I see the Two of Cups in this situation as you need to either discuss it with your counterpart or you need to get in touch with your higher self because when this surprise comes to the forefront you're going to have these decisions to make and you've got to make them now the hidden influence is the rest it's like a holiday rest and rejuvenation it's laying the source to rest it's like a closure of a situation this can talk about meditation and things like that the waiting is actually to your benefit so whatever it is you're you've been going through this is a hidden influence so you're waiting you're building a new foundation now it's all money this is all money here. The Ace of Pentacles comes in when it's success. Okay, you can talk about a gift coming to you. So this could be this surprise here. It's an opportunity of a fresh start. The wheel is turning for a beneficial future, which is your Ten of Pentacles. That's your wealth. This can talk about inheritance coming to you. It's legacy. So when you get this clarity, whether it's through your intuition, because we've got the Four of Swords and this is in the hidden influence, it's going to enable you to build a new foundation in the material realm. And the, the Ace of uh, Pentacles is one brick. It's one, it's one massive, massive brick is how I see it. So if you're building a home, for example, it's the first brick you will lay and then you will build upon it. But the wheel is turning. So this can easily mean a win. Absolutely. This can easily mean legacy coming to you as in material help from a past loved one. This can be inheritances coming in because this is the hidden influence which enables you to lay the source to rest and have some R&R &R rest and rejuvenation. And that'll help you get this clarity because you've got so many choices. And I believe this indecision in the past is, is sort of interrupted your energy. Have I made the right choice? Well, there's going to be new foundations coming into play. And remember that everything happens for a reason we don't always understand it at the time my beautiful beautiful pisces but as the as the energy starts to flow again we understand once more now the obstacle is the eight of cups now the eight of cups is a journey it's to restart it's to follow your heart in a situation it's again it's talking about travel so you could be having a holiday which is going to benefit you emotionally and it's going to get your sort of energy flowing again to be able to create this new bright future now whatever it is this is supposed to be an obstacle so is it you trying to have a break but you're going to have a victory in a situation this talks about triumph it's accomplishment of a situation you've got the queen of cups and the king of cups both the queen of cups and the king of cups sit on rocky waters but they remain balanced emotionally at all times and what it's saying is if you are journeying away from something and leaving something behind it is going to be victorious but you have to balance yourself emotionally during this time and that's the obstacle because i can see here something's been extremely challenging for you this can talk about conflict and rivalry and strife even but this can be journeying forth and taking this journey it's been a challenge but emotionally I do believe it's going to help you balance. So it, even though it's an obstacle, this is going to be beneficial for you. You need to follow your heart. That's what I feel here. You need to follow your heart towards victory and emotionally balanced during this time because we've got the ten of swords is what you should do and you're like how lauren how is that what you should do because this is completion you need to release the old now the ten is completion it's the end of the sorrow it's the end of the tears it's the end of that emptiness type of feeling you're feeling you need to rest and rejuvenate because justice is coming in your favor justice is to balance out and justice is good judgment so what you need to do is release the darkness through this area here they keep telling you to have a holiday have a break release the darkness and balance those emotional energies again also the devil can also talk about accept your weaknesses and overcome any senses of guilt because justice is the balancing of karma 
All right, so whatever has caused you to feel stabbed in the back, whatever has caused you to feel, and it could be a friend and it could be to do with a family situation because we've got the three of cups, so it talks about gatherings here. You need to release that because it's not yours to carry anymore. That's what they're saying because justice is prevailing. Now, you have the three of cups, so what you should do is get with friends, enjoy the vibrational frequency, release the old, but also... What I feel here with the Ten of Swords is make sure the people you have around you, my beautiful Pisces, are the people that serve your soul in the best way. If they're not, and this can be friends and family, then they're sending your vibration to a lower frequency. So it's a case of walking away and balancing your emotions. All right, because something's been a challenge, whatever that something is, emotionally, it's really challenged you. And what it's saying is just as balances out when the rise and fall of karma has taken place. All right. So this is in your favor, but it's your release that is going to move you forward. And that's what I believe it's saying, because this is in what you should do. You should release that low frequency energy and journey forth and plant new seeds so the outcome is the seven of pentacles which is planting those new seeds now you can talk about the family planning card here on the old tarot because it does look like a family planning but you you do so from a heart frequency now you need your stamina and perseverance to journey forth after that release and that's what it's saying here this is your self-assurance that you need during this time and finding that inner strength remain emotionally in balance as they've told you twice because you're sorting out your stability so the king and queen of pentacles are the council apart their stability their abundance in all forms she's very comfortability she's domesticated he's money practical and success in a conclusion so whatever it is by planting these new seeds and if this is a release of a certain situation it's going to be beneficial for you also the king of pentacles is the king of manifestation into the practical nature so whatever you are sorting out your stability for you're going to manifest it into the practical now on the bottom of one pack on the major pack you have the wheel of fortune yet again so what it's saying is a very fortunate time for you and i can see it because you've got it twice so if this is a windfall if this is inheritance coming into you what i feel here from this read is you've had challenges you've probably made the wrong choice previously and what it's saying now is you're taking yourself upon a new venture all right whether that be a venture of life whether that be a holiday but by you having a rest and rejuvenation and getting your ducks in a row this is benefiting to your new foundation to build all right it's sort of like it's you taking accountability for your life basically Pisces and you need to follow your heart in the situation but I also believe it's it's almost like you're fighting this situation and they're saying you're going to be victorious for it now whatever it is you've been fighting and has been challenged you need to release because it's sending your vibration to a low level whether that be family whether that be friends there's something around you that keeps taking you back to a lower frequency you need to plant new seeds from an open heart and you know remain vigilant during this time also use your inner strength and set up those defenses because as you can see on the old tarot he's lighting the wands around the darkness there and he's saying no more so set up those defenses get your in a row with your stability because the wheel is turning which means it's a very fortunate time and when it turns in your favor it's telling you to get on the wheel also we have the knight of wands now the knight of wands can talk about a trip it can talk about this travel that we've got here but this can talk about a new wand of frequency now if you've had uh, problems within work there is a new wand of frequency here he's um the knight of wands is an energetic worker it's you taking courage um upon this new quest this is the distance it's the adventure and he's brilliant it's brilliance basically the wand of power he holds it's it can talk about a new job coming into you it can talk about the unpredictable travel that's about to happen and it's a long exciting trip so what I would say here, my beautiful Pisces, is get on the wheel, hold this wand of power and journey forth, whether that's physically or metaphorically, whether that's a job offer or it's travel, because what you've got to do is a process. But I would be releasing the old energy here. Absolutely. So take this as your message. Now, there you go. That is your December read. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give me a thumbs up. This is a completely free channel and the thumbs up is completely private. If this is your read and resonate with your heart, let me know below. Um, don't forget your 48 hourly reads and your daily um, messages are on the shorts. I forgot what it was called then. So until next time, our beautiful Pisces, from my heart to yours, bye-bye for now.